Hello, my name is Vaughn Smith and I'm a forecaster with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia. I will be discussing the weather for the next seven days beginning today, March 24th, 2016. Okay, the main topics I will be discussing in this week's briefing is the possibility of severe weather today and again on Sunday. Here is a look at the current radar picture as of 10.30 a.m. Thursday morning. You can see there is a line of showers and a few thunderstorms across Mississippi and Alabama moving east uh, today. These showers and thunderstorms will continue moving into north and central Georgia, bringing showers and thunderstorms with it along with some possible severe weather. Okay, here's a look at one of our high resolution models that we have in house. Uh, you can see uh, what this model is showing is it's giving an interpretation of what it thinks the radar is going to look at look like at different times during the day. So starting at 11 a.m. today, it's showing pretty much what almost what our current radar is actually showing. It's showing that line of showers and thunderstorms across Alabama over back into Mississippi, uh, moving into the state. By 2 p.m., it shows quite a bit across our northwestern uh, Georgia counties there. The line is starting to move into the area, and we're getting into a little bit of uh, showers and thunderstorms at this point. All right, by 5 p.m., the showers and thunderstorms looks like they're beginning to intensify. They've moved into northwest Georgia. Um, they're down into the Rome area, almost into the Atlanta area by 5 p.m. Uh, so the northern suburbs will start to see some showers and thunderstorms, especially the northwestern suburbs. By 8 p.m., it's pretty much across the Atlanta area. Uh, it's almost through Atlanta at this point. It's somewhere between Macon and Columbus and Atlanta at this point. But you can see the intensification of the showers and thunderstorms is still there. So the possibility of severe weather between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. has definitely increased. And this is when our greatest threat for possible severe weather is. By 11 p.m., you can still see the line across the area, but it hasn't really moved much further south from that point uh, that we saw at 8 p.m. Uh, the showers and thunderstorms are still there. They're still fairly intense at this point, but they're beginning to lose a little bit of strength. By 2 a.m., you can see the intensity has really begun to calm down at this point. Uh, but again, it hasn't really moved much further south. It's still somewhere between the, and the Atlanta area and Macon area at this point. Uh, it is still expected to move uh, further south through the day Friday, uh, but it really does slow down overnight. And by 5 a.m. Friday morning, you can still see the remnants of the line is still there, but it's pretty much just showers at this point. Maybe a few isolated uh, thunderstorms, uh, but the intensity has really uh, died down uh, with the sh showers and thunderstorms as it has moved through overnight. Okay, here's a look at some of the instability indices that we use when determining if we're going to have severe weather. And as you can see, uh, we're looking at Zulu time, so between 18Z Thursday and 06Z Friday. You can see everything from top to bottom lines up. All of our instability indices, our shear uh, wind indices, and the uh, increase of precipitation also increases as the showers and thunderstorms move through. Currently, SPC has the majority of our area outlooked under a marginal or just a general thunderstorm outlook. But you can see the extreme northwest corner is under a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. This is the tornado outlook for today from SPC. You can see our western counties are in the 2% risk for tornadoes today. But the better chance, the 5% chance, does stay back across Alabama and Mississippi. All right, this is the current wind outlook from SPC, and you can see uh, this looks to be the best uh, chance of severe weather that we will get with these systems as it comes through. Extreme northwest Georgia is under the 15% risk, with the majority of the area under the 5% risk. Uh, with these severe storms that are coming in, this is really what we're looking for, is strong gusty winds, uh, some possible hail, uh, frequent lightning, and brief periods of heavy downpours. Here is what we're expecting for a rainfall to total across our area. 
you can see across North Georgia, we're looking at about an inch to an inch and a half. Maybe in extreme cases, you might see a, a brief downpour of around two inches or so. Uh, but for the most part, the majority of the area should receive about a half an inch to an inch and a quarter. Here is a summary slide of what we're expecting today. You can actually see this slide if you go to our website at www.weather.gov slash Atlanta. You can see we're expecting some hail, gusty winds, and the possibility of an isolated tornado or two. Another threat will be the frequent lightning and locally heavy rainfall. All right, moving on to Sunday. Uh, by 8 a.m. Sunday, we begin to have an increase in moisture. Uh, what you're looking at here is one of our forecast models, and the moisture is the areas of purples and blues that you see, with the purples being the more intense, the deeper moisture across the area. And what you can see here is at 8 a.m., a wave begins to move out of the Gulf, and we get begin to see some increased moisture across our area, especially across central Georgia. And by 2 p.m., the moisture really blossoms over the state, especially with the daytime heating, which is when we're expecting to see uh, showers and thunderstorms across the state. So we will be seeing the possibility again on Sunday of some showers and thunderstorms with some possible severe weather again. All right, by 8 p.m. Sunday, we still have quite a bit of moisture across the area, as you can see, but it is beginning to move east. Uh, things start to clear out overnight, but you can see by 2 a.m. that deeper moisture has really moved off the Georgia and South Carolina coast and beginning to push up the eastern seaboard. We will still have a bit of backside moisture coming around that low pressure center uh, and still keeping some possible showers and thunderstorms across north Georgia uh, Sunday night, Monday morning. Uh, but the majority of it will have pushed east of the area. Okay, again, taking a look at the instability indices, you can see here everything, again, is lining up for Sunday afternoon into Monday morning. Our instabilities, the winds, the increased precipitation across the area is all lining up between 18Z Sunday and 0Z Monday, which is 2 p.m., uh, Sunday afternoon through 8 p.m. Sunday afternoon. Uh, so again, we're looking at showers and thunderstorms and the possibility of severe weather. Okay, currently SPC does not have Georgia outlook for any severe weather on Sunday. You can see this 15% area risk area comes right up to the Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee border, uh, but it does not come into the state. Uh, as things progress over the next few days, I would not be surprised to see this area move a bit further east, uh, especially with that wave that's coming up out of the Gulf on Sunday into early Monday morning. Here is our rainfall totals that we're expecting for Sunday into Monday morning. The majority of the area will see right around a half an inch, but we may see some isolated one inch totals, especially across southern and central Georgia. Once this second wave moves east of the area, high pressure builds in for the beginning of next week. We're looking at Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with high pressure over the area. Should see mostly clear skies and temperatures during the day in the 60s and 70s with low temperatures mainly in the 40s. In summary, showers and thunderstorms expected today through late Sunday night. Some isolated severe storms possible today and Sunday. Isolated severe storms possible across most of north and central Georgia this afternoon and tonight. Another round of possible severe weather Sunday. Once all that clears out, mostly clear skies and spring-like temperatures Monday through Wednesday. Temps will be in the 60s and 70s with lows in the 40s. 